Eric DIY here with another great review for you. Today we're reviewing the Works Trivac. It's all new, three in one, lower vacuum and mulcher for the yard. 12 amps and 600 cubic feet per minute. So it's pretty powerful. All right, inside the box, we have the lower tube, which is the vacuum part right here. We have the main unit itself. We also have the mulching bag right there looks really nice and we have directions right at the bottom of the box so we're gonna check those out the directions look pretty easy to put together you're gonna clip the pipe onto the main unit all right then going to clip the bag on then it says you're gonna pull on the bag make sure it's tight and turn it blowing mode looks like this the vacuum mode looks like that and you change it by turning that little handle right there so it's pretty easy and it just shows you basically how to use one so I've had one before so we're gonna just go and put it together and try it out. So you literally just had to find little knobs and they fit right in the holes there, easy to put it on. The bag's gonna go on the bottom right here and they have little tabs right there that you line it up with. And it just clicks right on, it's that easy. Tug in it and it stays there. Take it off, I believe you just push this thing and pull it off, so really easy to get the mulching bag off. Really easy to switch from vacuuming to blowing. You have a vac symbol right here and it's lined up so you know it's vacuuming right now, which is what I'm gonna do. If you want to blow, just turn it like that. This part goes down and it blows everything out. Again, we're gonna put it back to vacuum. Lock it into place. I'm gonna put the bag on and do some vacuum of leaves. The other thing that's great, and I don't know if you can see it, but way down there, the actual blade mulching device down there is all metal. It's not plastic like my last one. Again, you just want this set to blow and the line's right there. And it's easy as just pushing this and turning it. So this would be vacuum. This is the blow, and you'll notice that this thing goes down to blow mode, and here we go. So that's pretty powerful for blowing right there. Uh, if I had tons of leaves, definitely gonna do the job. Now we're gonna try it as a vacuum, which is what I bought it for. Now when you have it set up for blower, you'll notice that the attachment for the bag is not there, so we're gonna turn this to vacuum by just again holding this down and turning it the right way which is a pretty nifty feature and then we're literally just going to pop the bag on the right way and that's what we'll collect all the clippings this is on the highest set So far, so good. It's really picking those leaves up and mulching them fine. We have, for that amount of time, about one sixth of the bag full. So I'm just gonna keep going and I'll show the results. The on off switch is really easy to use, just a rollable button. Slower speed. So right there, it's really easy to control and to actually do it as a vacuum, you can just hold it back here on the handle and it works great. It's not uncomfortable at all. The bag's pretty full, so we're gonna empty it out. To detach the bag, we're just gonna push this button right back here. The instantly comes off right off the unit. And let's go empty it. The bag itself has a heavy duty zipper. And we're just gonna pour it all into this wheelbarrow because we're just putting in our compost pile in the woods. So that's mulched up pretty good. So that whole bag held about at least a third of a wheelbarrow, if not half. So that's about two and a half bags full to fill this, and that's what compressing the leaves down. So it does quite a job. If you see, I got a lot of this area right here with that. So that gives you an idea of how much it, it picks up. A lot of these three-in-one mulcher, vacuum, blower things, you know, they, they it seems like they don't hold a lot, but when you put it in terms of saving time, they actually did a nice job. I figure it must have worked for about 10 minutes to do that, 10 to 15 minutes at most to do that. So it does pick up a lot over time. One issue that I'm finding is that sometimes it clogs right here at the bag port, and you'll see that because it'll act as a blower when you're trying to vacuum. 
It's just gonna stop it and clog it. And again, it's nothing big. It's just uh, the way that they get it to be 600 cubic feet per minute is that they make the hole small. So if you're doing wet leaves, it might lodge itself in there. I wouldn't see a problem if this was dry leaves, but I think with the wet leaves, it kind of clogs this up just a little bit. It doesn't happen very often, and it's still worth doing the mulcher so we can get everything done. I also want you to know that while you're unclogging, there is a safety switch here so that this is not going to turn on, even if you put the switch on, unless you have the collecting bag on there, which is a nice safety feature to have. So my work is done here, at least for today. I only got about an hour and a half done. I got most of those leaves done in that big portion that I showed you. The works try back overall. It works pretty good. I mean, it's got its pros and cons like any three-in-one mulcher vacuum blower. Uh, the blower works great, no problem at all. Uh, the vacuum, on the other hand, it's just like any other vacuum. I do like the power of the vacuum. However, it does get clogged in this little port right here sometimes. And it might have been the wet leaves that I was putting in there and stuff. Uh, there's also a couple sticks that got in there, but it was easy to clean, I can tell you that. And the bag is, is perfecto. I mean, it doesn't clog in the bag at all. It's just in that little tube because if it gets wet and stuff, it just collects in that, it's a smaller hole. It's about yay big to get through stuff, to get it into the bag. So that's why it clogs, but it's not hard at all to clean it. It's an easy, easy taking off of the bag to get there and access that. And honestly, it is way better than the three and one that I owned before. Pros, it's lightweight. It's really easy to carry around. I had no problems. It actually seems to weigh less than my last one, so it's easier to get to rougher places with it. The bag is perfect. It's, it's very durable. I've had no holes in it, no nothing like that. And it doesn't let a lot of stuff out of the bag. It's not flimsy fabric that they use. I also like the connector on top of the bag right there. It's an easy one-on-one -on -one off connector with the unit itself. I love the fact that you switch it from vacuuming to blowing with that one switch. Really easy to turn and use. Cons about the Works Tri-Vac. I would say that the blower itself with that small intake, it does get clogged once in a while. So you have to have a little patience, but you have to understand that this is gonna save you time because not only is it mulching and saving space, but it's gonna go in that bag and you just empty it right into like what I did, a wheelbarrow, and you send it to the wood, so it's gonna be good. Other than the clogging, I haven't really had any problems with it. And the clogging is not really frequent at all. It might be due to the wet leaves. I also have a lot of sticks and stuff over there, so I can't say that it clogs constantly because it doesn't. It does a very nice job. I mean, for an hour of work, I got most of that section done, so that's not bad at all. And that was my review of the Works Trivac 3-in-1 blower, vacuum, and mulcher. Overall, it's a great unit. It works great. Again, it clogs a little bit, but it's not overdone. Easy to clean out, and it works efficiently. I love the power of it, the 600 cubic feet per minute makes it easy to get leaves up. It's not like you're there all day trying to get leaves to go up the tube. So, excellent product from Works. If you'd like to purchase your Works Trivac, please look for a link in the description below. We'll send you to Amazon. We can purchase your very own. Every purchase will help support the Eric DIY channel. We appreciate all your support. If you like this video and you want to see more like it, please give us a thumbs up and push that subscribe button below. While you're down there, also push on the bell notification icon so that way you'll be notified of future Eric DIY video releases. We appreciate all your support. Thank you and have a great night. As always, if you like this video, found it useful, please subscribe. And if you have a product that you would like reviewed, please contact Eric by emailing him at Eric. 5150 DIY at gmail.com. Have a great day.